Um, hello guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Unique Cross video. So, well, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about how to be good on the Colosseum. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what you need on the Colosseum. Pretty much is going to be Keyblades, Setup, Medals, and Strategies. So, um, I hope that I remember each one of them because I'm, suddenly I just forget them all. So, let's go ahead and talk about what do you need on a Keyblade or in a situation or something. So, um, the ones that you won't have to worry are is going to be between the tier 11 or 12. Those are, those are the ones who are absolutely very easy to manage. But once you go to the, to the setups that they are like around between 14 and 15, those are the ones that you need to be worrying about. And I'll let you know why. So first of all, Keyblade. Absolutely the same. You need sub slots. You need a per you need actually like um, to get your sleeping lion. Um, well, a keyblade to level 50, 45, and as well you need you need your passive effects so you'll be able to get the maximum damage. So that is one for keyblade. Now what what happens with the with the setup? Setups will vary depends on which enemy are you're facing. Meaning that you have a lot of tons of options. You have magic, speed and power so you don't have to rely on only one keyblade you can go to counterpoint maybe you want to go to fenrir or maybe you want to go to the sleeping lion depending each one of what the other so the setup it varies depending on which enemy you're, you're facing do not use uh, multi or dual keyblades you want a keyblade that it will provide you the maximum multiplier that is going to be the 1.6 so mono keyblades are absolutely very recommendable on Colosseum since dual keyblades will provide you 1.2 and the normal keyblades that they are the multi ones will only provide you nothing and will not provide you any multiplier as you can see 1.0 dual keyblade 1.2 and mono keyblade will provide you in this case 1.6 so that's the case go now what happens with the medals and setups well pretty much medals and setups you really want either one or the other is going to be perfect traits Aerial, Ground, Extra Attack, Strength. That's all that you need. Or, if you already know what you're counting, then you don't need the Aerial. You just need a Ground, and pretty much you'll be able to use a Strength stack. But I recommend you to do Aerial and Ground at least. Um, if you're totally 100% sure what you're doing, then you only need Ground and just the rest of it Strength stack. Now, as you can see, we have our new traits. Obviously, 60 is not going to be still enough. 10% is still much better, so obviously you're going to chase for the ground enemy defense 70 and aerial enemy defense 70. But let me go ahead and give you something though. You need strength in order to succeed with the damage. You need a lot of strength stack. You need a lot of power so you'll be able to do damage. So the problem here is not the aerial and ground. It will be the strength of your of your um, sorry the strength of your metals and the strength stack that you need to follow. So that's where we're going to follow with strategy. Well, strategy here is um, you can the best strategy here that you need. It's absolutely chase the most powerful tier that you can get and succeed in the victory. So once that you succeed with victory you don't have to have any kind of problems with scaling with um, you know with the uh, tier advances because once that you actually um once that you actually advance um and once that you go to the highest tier once that you have done a multi strength stack problem you need metals that it will provide you two power strength or two you know um, it will provide you for two turns certain amount of strength stack for two turns for 6k 7k depending which one do you want so that's the case guys you need at least some metals that it will sustain you with the power strength now what we have here is that once you go to tier 13 or 14 you're going to struggle with strength so my best strategy here it's going to be the following um, what I do most is that I actually use Strelitzias here instead of using my normal Keyblades because Strelitzias will provide you upright metal strength for 12k and other, another 12k. The fact here is that you need a lot of strength stacks so you'll be able to do damage. Once you go to a specific strength stack, you absolutely do all the power of the Supernova. You use the Supernova abilities first. First you want to concentrate on using your powerful two Keyblades. You use um, I don't know instead of the TVA you can still use I don't know Aventus here Then you can go ahead and use the TVA here you use your strength stack 
you absolutely just bypass all the Strelitzia medals. And once you go to your fourth, your fifth medal, do all the stacks of the Supernova. You use two Strelitzias, then you use your Sora or depending on which one you're using, and then you use your Snow White, and then you use a Supernova. Do the same process, two Strelitzias, one Supernova, the two other Supernovas, then your last Supernova ability, your do, you do your two Strelitzias, and then your two Supernova abilities. And if you're still not doing enough damage, that is where the damage of the metal will be coming, because it will still give you Strength Stack. So you need to keep in mind that you need to get enough Strength Stack so you'll be able to get the, pack, the you know, the, the determinate damage. So as far as you actually have a lot of Strength Stack, you'll be able to um, defeat the enemy without any problems and you need the specific strength tech for that I don't know if the new Sora it's absolutely very amazing with this because it provides you 20k in a pinch pretty much with one hit with one attack you already have 20k of damage so that's so OP so I don't know if this it's absolutely very amazing for that because 20k it's a lot of damage but even so we're talking about a, a, a 10k more so we don't know if it will provide you the the great strength stack or not but one thing is for sure as long as you have the enough strength you will have the sufficient strength so you'll be able to do a lot of damage and if once Relizia is still is still not enough you can go ahead and use Aventus of course it will provide you less strength stack but in this case you will be able to get another supernova ability so you'll be able to do all the supernova situations you're only going to strength stack only two of them but I don't know if it's actually much better to do three supernova abilities, but I use the TVA much better because it provides 7k of upright strength and then another upright strength for 10k. So that's why it's much better this the, this guy is than the T, than the Ventus itself. But as long as you have the, the sufficient strength, you'll be able to succeed. Now, the only thing that you need to check about here is what are the tier 10 PvP um, PvE masters right now? You can go ahead and go to the ranking. You can go to check it on top 10 and you'll be able to get a lot of more other information or you can go ahead and check the other ones. As you can see, this guy absolutely has, in this case, two Ventuses because he wants to do the power of the supernova. Um, and as well, I don't know if which one does have provides you like two turns or something like that because all of the above that we have here, it will say it's one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn. And then he copycats um, the Axel using the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, so he will be able to succeed much better. But what I don't like about this setup is that pretty much you're losing sustain. You're losing sustain with the power because he's using a second chance. But that, that, that second chance will not help because of the matter of fact, what you need is that once you finish with your turn and the enemy attacks, that is where you're going to struggle the most. Why? Because all your strength stack is going to be bye-bye. As long as you have two turns, then you don't have any kind of problems. But second chance is not recommendable here. You want to check the other one? Of course. We have three Ventuses here. As you can see, the three Ventuses, what he's doing here is that he's doing three Supernova abilities. And of course, he's using the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. He's actually using the, the, the Supernova Plus Pro Roxasart. But three supernova abilities, you're starting to struggle a lot of damage. And even so, why do you have Roxas over here if you can go ahead and stack the Roxas on this one and then pretty much do the damage? But, you know, the last the, the last metal is where he's going to do a lot of damage. So maybe I understand why. But even so, the strength is low. So he must have another supernova ability here. So, and then use the, uh, the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts Sora here so he will be able to get the maximum damage. Another... Wait a second. Give me a second. I think somebody called here. Give me a minute. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I've been called and I don't know what happened on my house. So, well, okay. So, now let's talk about the next setup that we have here. So, this guy, he doesn't have any kind of supernova ability. And I don't know why he... Well, he has the Santa Claus over here. But even so, he's not getting a lot of, of damage sustained. Because he's just using a lot of, you know... A lot of damage here but he's not even doing a, an effort like you can go ahead and use the power and all that stuff strength stack and all that you want but you're not you're not absolutely getting any kind of advantage here you want, you want to have something much better but even though that's the case well now let's go with the top 10 the top 10 is what you want to go ahead and check here but uh, oh my god my frames per second just died 
me a minute. Oh, okay, there you go. Sorry, my bad. There was something here. I don't know what happened with the, the with the frames for a second, but now I'm ready. Okay. So, what do we have here is the top 10. The top 10 is the best of the best, of course. So, let's go ahead and check what they have here. Now, perfect sample is the following. They have a Supernova Terra, um, TVA. Then you have the Stained Glasses. And then you have the Roxas. So, his strategy here, what he done is the following. He absolutely uses... Um, in this case, he uses the power of the supernova of illustrated Roxas and then another Roxas on the first turn. Then he let himself die, and once he dies, he do he does the same strength stack. He uses the TVA, and then pretty much what he does is that he uses all the power of the supernova here, and then he uses another power of the supernova here, and that is where all the strength stack becomes. Why? Because this is where he's getting all the strength with just the two illustrated Roxas. If he has the Roxas though, pretty much you're succeeding. Why? Because when you're succeeding with the Supernova Plus Plus, he has the two strength stacks. So he's getting a lot of more strength stack here. And obviously the Stained Glass is absolutely giving a maximum damage. Now let's check about this one. This one is absolutely almost the same. He also has all the same process. So he, he absolutely used the power of the Supernova here. Um, same process like I mentioned. Oh my god, what is happening with the sound though? Something's happening with blue stacks. I'm going to finish with finish very quickly. And then we have here, again, TVA. And then he has um, two Stained Glasses. And then Illustrated Sora. And lastly, Ventus. He uses a third Supernova ability. But I don't recommend it to put it over here. I don't know why he done that. And he has a maximum multiplier 53 on the Sleeping Lion. And what happens to this one? This one is the same. Except that he's, actually, he's absolutely copycatting the Roxas. So he can have the two Strength stack. And pretty much he'll be able to get the power of the, of the supernova so maybe i can give you an example but right now since my strength my blue stacks is absolutely um i don't know what is going on that it's lagging i pretty much i'm gonna stop it right now but I, that is all the advices that i want to give you on coliseum so pretty much that's the case you want to succeed on the power of the supernova and of course just gather all the strength stack that you can so i think that is gonna be all hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time peace guys